Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I put these bomb highlights into my closure wig. So I'm going to be using my BW2 bleaching powder along with 40 volume developer by Clairol. I'm going to mix the two together until I get like a loose consistency. You don't want it too runny but you don't want it too thick if that makes sense. Something like a consistency of a smoothie. Yeah, a smoothie. And I'm going to take some foil sheets. I'm going to break each sheet in half, like so. And in total, I think I use about 10 sheets. So what I'm doing is sectioning off the hair. I'm only going to do it on the top. So I'm not going to put any highlights on that first track that I'm pulling back right now, but the second one, I'm going to highlight that. Here I am going to zigzag feed my way through the hair up and down, which will help section off what I'm going to highlight. I placed the foil underneath the hair. And now it's time to apply the bleach. So you just want to pretty much glob and spread it through the hair as evenly as possible. And when you get towards like the top of the highlights, you want to kind of like feather that out so it isn't like an, a, an abrupt straight line across the top. That makes sense. And once I'm done highlighting, I fold the left half, the bottom, and then the right. And now I just pretty much repeat the same process. So I have the hair parted down the middle and I'm going to do three sections for each side. So like I did before, I read through the hair, put the foil underneath and apply the bleach. I did the other side off camera and this is pretty much how it should look when you're done. I used about nine foils in total. To help speed up the process, I did blow dry my foils for about three minutes. I did wash the wig off camera and now I'm going to be soaking the highlights in my shimmer light shampoo. And by the way, I am using warm water. Alright, and I did this process for about 5 to 10 minutes. To get out that brassiness to make the highlights more ash blonde. I did bleach the knots, pluck it, and blow dry all off camera. 
So this is what the hair looks like freshly blow drying. Alright, so I'm going to section the hair off by track pretty much, pin it up and spray it with my heat protecting spray by Fantasia. Dub is, it's the bomb. Get you some. And I'm going to use my flat iron, my baby bliss flat iron, and to get it popping. So I'm doing the same thing on the closure. I'm just gonna flat iron it. And what I'm going to do differently is I'm going to put my hot comb to each piece that I flat iron at the top to make sure the closure lays flat. And here's what the wig looks like now that it's all flat iron. And guess what you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my baby hair. So I'm going to cut my hair short, pretty much the same length as the lace. As you can see here, if not a little bit shorter. I'll be using my Nairobi foam to help lay it. And I do pretty much three swoops. One in the middle and two on the side. So it's pretty much the flick of the wrist. You just gotta like swoop and hold, swoop and hold if that makes sense. And yeah, just keep playing with it till you got it. Now I'm taking my blow dryer to blow dry the baby hair. Some people like to wrap them down. I prefer to just blow dry it. The hair doesn't move, it stays in place and it works a little faster for me. Once dry, I'm going to take my hot comb to flatten out the hair some more. And once you're done with that, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Um, if you want to see how I pluck my wigs, I do have a video on that. I will link it down in the description box. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.